you are not in a place where you feel comfortable enough going out and helping people or coaching and training it's probably because you're not sure on what people are going to get working with you and if you're not sure on what people are going to get you're not even going to have the confidence to really help somebody get results because people they they build their momentum off of your confidence because a lot of times when you work with people they don't have the confidence in themselves so because they don't have the confidence in themselves they're not going to be motivated enough to go out and get results so it is our duty and our obligation to take out the things that we have in our head and to use that in, as a way that with some other things we get ready to talk about today as a way to really accelerate people's results because what's the point of having all the knowledge in your head but because you don't know how to communicate or work with people they can't leverage what you have and you'll never be a great coach if you don't know how to get somebody to take action based on what you know what is good fam what's good to see y'all i'm here um we making some things happen i'm excited uh because uh today we really gonna go in we're going all the way in today focus because this is really gonna allow you to take your business to the next level um knowing how to actually coach this is one of the things that i don't think a lot of people talk enough about in our industry and because they don't talk enough enough about it we have a bunch of people that are teaching you the business aspect of it <clears throat> but because you don't feel confident training people <clears throat> or coaching people based on what you know excuse me it's making it hard for you to even put yourself out there so one of the things that I really want to help us with today is uh, showing you what do you need to do? How do you put yourself out there in a way that's going to allow you to um, really just be that best version, to be that amazing version of yourself? All right. So I see you out here, Bella. What is good? Good to see y'all. Go ahead and give this some likes. Um, go ahead and give this some likes and show this some love so I can really give y'all a shout out. And let me know if you're ready. Let me know if you're ready and, and um, if you're excited. All right. So with that, this is how we're going to host today's training. So first thing we're going to do is um, I'm going to give you we're going to go through specifically what does it take to actually um, coach, right? What are some core things that I've learned over the last eight years when it comes to coaching? Uh, we're going to focus on that first. Then we're going to focus on um, then then I'm going to provide you guys with the resource. And this resource is really going to help you take things to the next level because I know a lot of folks here are like, OK, how do I like I'm serious about it because you always have like some folks that are uh, casual. One of the things uh, excuse me, I got, I got my other phone on. So, you know, one of the things is like, it's casual, right? So you can go about this casually or you could go about this casually or you can be like a serious student of this game. And if that is something that you, if you're serious about it, go ahead and put serious below, put I'm serious and let me know that you are, you are ready and that you are serious um, about this. All right. So that's how we're going to do it. And then we're going to open up the floor for some Q and A. All right. So um, let's get it. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys too. William, I see you. James, I see you. All right. So let's make it happen, right? So what is this big conversation about being a professional coach? Well, let me break down the game to you as I looked. And this is why, this is one of the reasons that it made me say coaching is the buy or highest form of transformation and it's the fastest way to generate revenue in our industry at a high level. And I, so I'm excited about this opportunity of coaching that we have because that's where all of the fun happens. The reason you get into this is because you desperately want to help your people make progress. You, this is what you're excited about. This is what you love to do. So get excited. Get ready. Have fun with this. So and realize that we have a great opportunity here. And I was just explaining this. Uh, I was just explaining this to somebody earlier today. So the reason why coaching is so great, if you think about all the different ways we can impact people, think about this books, books are dope, right? Um, and you can learn a lot from books. The problem is people can't interact with you. They have questions. So that's why that's not necessarily the highest form of transformation. Speaking engagements, speaking engagements are dope, right? You go out, you get a chance to speak to audiences. That's what I do. And people learn from you and they get a chance to meet you in person. But there's no relationship built in speaking. And people can't, if you got a bunch of people, you can't answer everybody's questions. So no relationship and you really can't answer every all of the questions everybody has. So that's why that's not necessarily the highest form of transformation. Courses, dope. People can do it on demand. Fire. However, people can't 
really ask you questions or engage with you like that because maybe they can type it in online but it's not really the same so they really can't get the feedback that they need in their business or their life whatever you teach them we have live events workshops i do live events every year um multiple times throughout the year i got a live event coming up and that's great but the challenge is it is that you learn you get a lot of motivation and learning in the room but then you have questions later on that you can't get answered and the biggest and the best is coaching because coaching gives you that ability to really work with people individually it gives you that ability to work with people in small groups so, you have, so if you like multiple helping multiple people that also helps out you get a chance to really engage and interact with people and so you can pull out all of their questions and really help them specifically with what they're going through and you get a chance to build a long-term relationship with somebody who could potentially be a client for life not only that in coaching if somebody people are willing to make a large investment having up front having a conversation with you because they they know the importance of your time and they and they want the result that you're able to provide them that's what's great that's different than a book while i might pay 10 20 dollars for i'm willing to pay thousands of dollars i'll pay you two thousand dollars right now if you can help me solve this problem and i have an opportunity to really go through your program to resolve that and i can pay that today right now that's the opportunity that we have with coaching today this is unprecedented in our times right now which is why coaching is blowing up so this is the time right now to get in if you've been waiting like get into coaching right now to on this call we're really going to be talking about the essentials of being a great coach but i just want you to know that if you're waiting for a perfect time or you waiting to be great or you waiting for something stop waiting next thing you know nfts is going to be widespread virtual reality is going to be widespread and if you behind now and you confused and waiting now you it's going to be a whole new world by the time this technology catches up so like you need to get on it right now so the momentum is already built so by the time these things happen within the next six months the next year three years five years you're not behind the eight ball trying to figure out this business and you got to figure out the technology to reach the people you feel what I'm saying? There was a lot of businesses that went out of business because as soon as so, the, the social media wave hit, then now, and they didn't leverage that social media, so now, psh, whole business got wiped out. You feel what I'm saying? So this is the time now to get on top of it. You know, all right. So if you if you understand this and if you like this and you like this opportunity, go ahead and give this some hearts. Put I'm loving this so far below. And that's what we're talking about now. So, that is what we're focused on. So when we're looking at a, a way on how to be great as coaches, our goal is really to understand a couple key things that's going to allow us to go to the next level, right? And there's, there's a few things that, and I'm going to write some things down because this is really going to help bring bring this home, right? So I'm going to give you a couple key key elements, right? So when it comes to essential coaching and being great, um. The very first thing that I really want you to focus on is what are you teaching and training people, right? Like what are your, um, you know, what are your, we call them your topics, right? I'm gonna call it your topics, topic slash uh, principles. What are your topic slash your principles? This is very important because without that, you don't even know how to help people. I get a lot of people who say, yo, Terrell, you know, I don't have, you know, I don't have the confidence. I don't have the confidence to help people or, you know what, I want to help people, but I don't know what I'm going to train them and teach them on, right? And, you, and it might be a little bit high. I can, um, I can lower it if you can't really see it, right? So let's do, right? So I'm going to say, right, this is your principles. Let's lower it a little bit, right? So one is your principal slash topics. So if you don't know how you're helping people, there's no way you're gonna be able to help people go to the next level because your own level of confidence is drained, right? So to be a great coach, you have to have clarity on what people need to know, how you can help people. That's a big deal if you don't understand that because whatever your niche is, right? So like, let's say your niche is bodybuilding. Well, if you're helping people become national champions 
in bodybuilding, but you don't know specific, but you're not clear on the type of exercises they need. You're not clear on their supplement, their diet. You're not clear on specific um, ways they're supposed to lift the weights or the types of weight or how often they need to lift or how often they need to eat. And you, do you feel what I'm saying? Certain mindset things that they need to overcome. If you don't, un if you don't have a clear understanding of it because you don't, you haven't thought through your principles yet. It's going to be hard for you to be a professional coach because professional coaches, we hire coaches for clarity. That is like the first thing that we hire coaches for is for clarity. So if you don't even have clarity as a coach, how are you going to expect me to have more clarity than you? I'm following you. I'm on your live. I'm in, in your training. I'm watching your videos. I'm reading your posts. If I'm watching you on stage. So if you are just kind of talking, but you don't have any core set of principles or topics. That tells me that you don't have clarity. And if you don't have clarity and I'm the potential client, I'm not even going to co feel compelled to work with you. Or even if you even if I happen to start working with you because you're my friend we cool or whatever or i'm doing you a favor if i start working with you but i'm not feeling a sense of continue continuous clarity i'm gonna stop working with you that's the first thing i need that's clarity you know what i'm saying so we got to know what those topics and those principles are so somebody says okay coach t i get it i understand i need to know these topics and these principles great um how do i do that so what that really looks like is thinking about your three E's that you want to pay attention to. Your experience, your education, and your um, and expertise. Experience, education, and expertise. Those are the three things that you want to leverage when it comes to you creating whatever your core principles or topics is. Coach T, how many do I need? I don't know, five, ten. I would say no more than 15, right? So our goal is to be great coaches is to really have that clarity. Now, you want to look at everybody put clarity, put clarity in the chat and give this some likes, by the way, get some likes and go ahead and put clarity in the chat because this this is this is one of the biggest things that I've learned in terms of taking my business to the next level. So now that I have um, so I know what I want to teach, right? This is the conversation that we're talking about when it comes to niche. People say niching all the time, niching, niching, niching. What do we specifically need, mean by niching? You can either niche down in a topic, meaning I can say that I help the world with personal development. I help everybody in the world with personal development. That's a very wide net. But if I say um, I help the world with habits, I help the world with goal setting, I help the world with mindset, now, I just niche down from personal development to a more specific topic like mindset or habits. Or there was a time where I was teaching, I was training on productivity. That was before I was helping coaches. I was helping, I was, I was helping people who wanted to be more productive in their business. Right? So you could, so that's what we mean. So you could either niche down in your topic, or you can niche down in terms of the role in society that you help your particular demographic with coach t what do you mean by the role in society i'm talking maybe is it moms is it stay-at-home moms is it plumbers is it doctors is it kids or teens um you know is it teachers is it entrepreneurs business owners is it seven figure entrepreneurs or business owners is it brand new business business owners? Is it people who work in their nine to five job? Are you coaching executives? Right? So that's a role. So you're either going to help people that's in a specific role in society, which is a niche, or you can niche down in terms of your topic. I would say at least choose to niche down in one of them. If that makes sense, everybody put make sense in the chat and give this some likes and some love too. Put make sense in the chat because this is very, very key. Right? So... That's where we're at in terms of so now you feel good, you know your niche, right? Based on either something you've been through, your experience, maybe something that you've learned, your education, or maybe a specific skill that you've learned, your expertise. So now you're feeling good. 
You know what your niche is. Now, our goal is to take it out of our head and put it into certain topics and principles. So what does that look like? That looks like you saying, you identifying, and I just got off a call with a client and I was telling her this exact same thing. So y'all getting this for free right now. So I, I, I was telling her this exact same thing and I said, only you know your experience because you're the only person who have been through what you've been through. I can't tell you what your principles are. You know what your principles are. The thing that I would say is don't go off looking at what everybody else did. I want you to pull it out of yourself first, especially if it's experience, right? Maybe you've been through, tra maybe you've been through trauma and you're helping other people go through trauma and, and get through, you know, maybe you're helping abuse women, whatever you're helping, right? Or it doesn't need, or maybe not, maybe it's not that deep. Maybe you're helping people with sales, right? Or maybe helping people with business or maybe helping people with mindset. Well, you have to come up with what your topics and your principles are that allowed you to achieve and overcome the things that you were able to achieve and overcome, right? So let's, I'm going to use me for an example. If I was teaching, um, you know, um, I would say general business, but let's just make this practical, right? So I teach, I train specifically coaches how to build, how to do this career, right? How to do it. I teach, I teach them the whole thing from start to finish. You could be scratch, not making any money, just trying to figure out, you just got some ideas jotted on paper. I can help you. And really I can help. I'm, I, re I have seven figure clients right now, so I can help, I can really help clients. And usually they just need a specific, one specific thing that they're trying to level up in, right? I got clients all type, all, all, in all phases, right? A majority of the folks that I work with are usually or usually making less than ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month. Usually, majority of our clients are making less than like fifteen k a month, right? So my goal is to help them get them up to six figures. So, what do I need to teach you to make help you make six figures? So this is mine, right? These are like my principles. These are some of the things, not necessarily in this order, but these are some of the things that I'm going to teach you, right? So you need to learn. One, you need to figure out what your niche is, right? So, which means that that will be part of my curriculum. You need to figure out specifically how to put together a curriculum and a coaching program. You need to figure out how to put together price. You need to figure out how to actually how to actually systematize and create and actually build the program, right? Like how do you system? How do you automate it? How do you put together your funnels, etc., right? How do you put together email sequences, CRM? You need to um, you need to you need to create your body of work online. So you need to know how to actually put out content. You know, you need to know how to attract your ideal clientele. You need to know how to shoot video. You know, you need to know how to speak. You got to you got to know how to communicate and speak and on video and on stage. So you got to know how to do that. You got to be confident in doing that. Right. You got to know specifically how to generate leads. So how do you get leads? How do you get people? Why do you even collect email names and addresses? What what's the importance of that? What's the importance of of putting out things like lead magnets and things of that nature that's going to allow you to attract your ideal clientele? Why do people in our industry they do trainings and they do zooms and they speak on stages and they have podcasts and they do challenges and they put out books? Why do we why do people in our industry do all of that? Why don't everybody just post on social media and leave it as is? The reason we do those products and services is because we want to generate leads. I have a book. I give away a book for I give away the book for free, or people pay for the book. They pay for the book. They're part of my world. They may potentially become a lead. They may get on my email list, and now I can provide them with additional value. Right? I give away a course to get the course. You say, you know what? I want to rock with you. I want to be part of your community, your world, your group, etc. In exchange for that, I want to be a lead. I want to be part of your world, right? And that's for all the different things, right? So to generate leads and then also specifically to, to make sales, right? To actually be able to communicate what you have in a way where somebody, where your niche client, your target client can say, you know what? I, this actually does make a lot of sense to me. Actually, you know what? I could use you as my trauma coach. You know what? I could use you as my business coach. You know what? You could help my child advance to the next level or pursue their purpose or whatever the case is, right? So our job, our so my job as the coach is to think through all of this ahead of time. That's what I'm saying. 
You got to think through this ahead of time. So by the time you get on a call with somebody or by the time you teach and you train and you're on somebody's podcast, you're rock solid in terms of what you're going to teach them. That's how you become a great coach is, is by one is even having a clear understanding of what people are even learning and getting from you and being able to lay it out logically so they can get closer towards their goal. Everybody put breakthrough in the chat because this is a breakthrough. This is 100% breakthrough. And these are the things that I've been able to learn just throughout my years of really doing this is figuring out and saying, okay, I can actually make this happen. I just got to get clear myself and look, and I might not, that may not mean that you could do this by yourself. You might need to get a coach or get help or pull in, pull in another resource that's going to allow you to really figure out this process. I had to do that. I wasn't, when I first started, I wasn't, I just knew how to give people good advice but when it came to the business, I was like, I need help, <laughs> right? Anybody here feels like that? Put me in the chat. Put me in the chat if you feel like this. Like, okay, well, I can give good advice, but how do I turn this thing into a business? How do I become a professional coach? Because there's a difference between giving advice and becoming a professional coach, which is what we're talking about today. And one of the ways to become a professional coach is that you've already thought through this and you already organized this already in your mind. You already organized it already on paper. So now you can coherently and clearly and succinctly give somebody great advice. And it's logical so you can take them through the steps. Put make sense in the chat. This makes sense. Right. These are the things that I just learned and it really took my game to a whole, whole, whole nother level. Right. So that's the first thing. Now. Now, we're in a good spot. We're in a good spot now. The spot that we're in is, okay, Coach T, I get it. I understand. I got my 12 principles. Or, or you, it could be as many principles as you want. We usually focus on like 10 to 12. Um, the reason we focus on kind of 10 to 12 is it really gives us ability to coach somebody for X amount of time and kind of create a program that's not just like hourly. Which, by the way, if you're charging hourly, stop it. We're going to have a whole nother mentorship monday session on that but stop it we're going to talk about pricing and all of that at, at a future point but we're going to focus on packages so anyway when you have principles it allows you to focus more on packages and more long term because you have more things to teach them right so that's the first thing all right so let's go through number two and uh let's go ahead and we're going to choose a different color so the second thing now that you have your principles you have your topics you have your you know, you know what you're actually teaching people to be a great coach. You really have to. You, you really have to. Um, understand. Um, their. Personality. You have to understand to be a great coach, to be a professional coach, you need to understand their personality. Right. A lot of people, I'll give a recommendation. A lot of people look at this as the disc assessment. Everybody put disc in the chat. Disc. D-I-C-K. Put disc. So what disc is going to allow you to do is this is going to, uh, this, this is an assessment. It's a paid assessment. But even if you don't take this, you got to understand the personality because everybody is motivated differently. Right. So you can't use the same strategy on everybody in terms of actually coaching them so like let's say you have a client and you know what you want to teach them let's say you're on a coaching call right and you're, you're training you're teaching on this topic you might give them an assignment to do after the call and they won't do the assignment and they'll get on a few calls where you'll be like, damn, I keep giving this person something, but they're not, they're not running with it. They're not taking action. And I don't understand why they're not taking action. Well, the reason they're not taking action is because how you're coaching them is, is they're getting the information, but you're not properly motivating them in a way that's going to allow them to take action on it. I had to learn this a lot. And, it, and even through me reading books, like one of the best people that can uh, that I heard was great with this. I heard Phil Jackson was great with being able to really 
like re even when he was coaching the Bulls, he was being able to read all of his players. He helped Jordan with it, and he did the same thing when he went to the Lakers, and he was helping Kobe be a great leader. Just in terms of being able to help other people, like identify the other players. I remember I was watching a Kobe interview one time, and Kobe said one of the biggest, one of he said one of the he said the biggest thing that I've I've learned about being a leader on this team is that everybody has different personalities and I need to know how to motivate every person differently. There might be one person on the team that like they don't they don't get their stuff together until you yell at them. They're like, yo, come on, baby, get your head in the effing game. Yo, what you doing? Yo, yo, right? And like that might motivate that person that you're speaking to because they need to be talked to like that. They need kind of like a, a hard edge to kind of be pushed, right? And they don't feel no type of way about it. You can say, yo, what the F you doing? Yo, come on, get, get your head in the game. They can be like, all right, come on, it's cool. I got this, right? But you, got, but you can have another person on your team, right? And I'm, talking, I'm saying NBA, but think about it. You're going to have clients, multiple clients, right? So then you can have another person on your team who you say, yo, what the F you doing? Yo, come on, baby, get your head in the game. And they'll be like, whoa, first of all, first of all, wait, who are you talking to? Like you talking to me crazy right now. I do not expect I don't accept no disrespect from anybody, right? <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, put a LOL. If you know what I'm talking about, right? Right? And that's because how they are used to being communicated to and what motivates and drives them is different than the other person. So what DISC has recognized is they recognize that there's four major personality types. And you want to have a good idea based on what people say, you know, how people say, how people communicate, et cetera, et cetera, on how to properly motivate these folks. And you can research it, do your own research, and maybe we'll even do a session on this, right? Um, you know, do a mentorship Monday on this. But this is really key. So you have one, you have like a dominant personality, right? A dominant personality is somebody who's like, like if you're the type of person where it was just like, yo, like I'm just gonna go in two feet first. I'm getting this done. Like you like a bull. Like whenever I set my mind on, I'm getting. You're not really a detail oriented person. It's just like, yo, I'm getting it done, right? If you're an action taker, that might that's one type of person. You have one that's more like an influencer. That's like more like me, right? I'm more, I'm I'm more social, right? I'm a social person, right? So for me. To motivate, to motivate me, I'm gonna be more. I'm I'm gonna be more like support driven. I'm gonna be more. I'm gonna be more. Um. I don't want to say entertainment focused, but I I need to know that what I'm doing is not gonna be boring, right? Because as if you're more like a social person and you like, how do you know if you that? Like if you like to talk, you're probably a social person, right? If you if you identify a lot with also being a speaker too, you might be a social person, right? Because you just like to talk. So with that being said, if you're motivating somebody or if you're, if you're coaching somebody and they're more of an I dominant personality, you want to get them involved in ways that is going to be fun and is going to be interesting for them. You might You might give it to them as a game. You might you know what I'm saying? You might connect them with other people. You might say, listen, I'm going to give you an accountability, support, uh, accountability partner. You know what I'm saying? Like you might do something where they can engage with other people and use the, use the social aspect. If I'm coaching somebody, ah, this is so key. Like I never really went into detail like this, but I'm glad that I'm sharing this with y'all. So if you want to call with somebody and they have more of a dominant personality, you really want to challenge them. You really, you really want to, you, you know, you, you want, it's okay. You can crack the whip on them. They understand because they're like that, right? They're not going to be overly sensitive to what you're saying. They're going to, they're going to understand. They're going to get it. And they're going to be like, all right, cool. Got it. I got the play. I got the assignment, right? Um, you have more, um, you have more like process oriented people, right? Like process oriented is just like about the numbers, very logical. Um, it has to make sense. Right. These are the folks where, you know, like they love giving they love giving steps. Right. A dominant personality or social personality. We might be able to listen to something like I'll put it to an example. Who's great at this is like E.T. So E.T. He'll just like if you notice, he doesn't really give you steps. If you listen to E. Right. He just like get up, get out. Blah, 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 right. So he's just like going, 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 going. Right. So you can listen to E.T. 
And if you're a dominant personality or if you are like, a, if you have a social personality, you'll listen to him and you'll be like, all right, cool. Like, I like I got it. Like, just based on like the, the fire he gave me, like I'm jumping out of this chair and I'm making something happen. But if you're more of a process oriented person and you're more logical, you might be like, okay, it feels good. I, I hear what he's saying, but what do I do? <laughs> right? You might, you might. You might not be sure on what to do because you're more process oriented. You need a list. If this is if, if this is you, put that's me in the chat. Put that's me, right? Because all of us, this the whole world is filled with all of these personality types, and there's no right or wrong. It's just how you process information and how you get motivated. So, if if you're process oriented, you might need a list. You might say, okay, I hear what you're saying, Coach T. Could you provide me with steps? That's why if you ever follow me. And you kind of look at my training. I always list things out. I'm giving y'all my secrets now. Now I'm giving y'all the secret sauce. I put secret sauce in the chat. I'm giving y'all the secret sauce, right? That's part of the running reasons too. I like to list things out is because it's how certain people process information, right? I like that. If you like to see step by step by step, if you like step by step, put I like put step by step. So this is key, right? So that's what we're talking about. Is that you got to have that out if you like you know you might be a person that likes to you know this person may also like numbers and facts and figures okay well i need to know like you know um you know what's your success rate i need to know um specifically you know how many people are in the program like they're very logical you know in in, in process oriented right okay well what are the numbers how much money you know you know, if I how, what's the numbers look like? How many clients would I need to do X, Y, Z? Then their mind goes straight to process and numbers. So that's a personality type. So if I'm motivating somebody like that, I would say, look, look, you almost you right there. All you need to do, let's break down what you need to do. You need to do this. Boom, put together your curriculum, put together your your put together your social media content. And I want you to go ahead and book leads. These are the next three steps I want you to be able to do. And guess what? If you do this, once you do this, this is the type of money you're going to be making. Boom. If you get five clients this week and then, um, you know, if you get five, if you talk to five people and then, you know, five of them get on a call with you and four of them don't want it. But one person says they do want to coach with you. Now you just made an extra two thousand dollars this week. What if you did that every week? Boom. You just made eight thousand dollars a month. What if you did that every year? So you feel what I'm saying, right? So that will motivate somebody who's more process oriented because I showed them the facts, I showed them the figures, and I gave them the steps. Let's go, baby. It's a breakthrough. I'm telling you, this is these are the things that I wish that I would have learned when I first got started. Because nobody never, nobody ever broke this down to me at first. So I didn't even when I started getting clients, I never really knew how to service them. So make sense. All right, if you're feeling this like this is like I'm giving you millions of dollars of information right now, so go ahead and, and get and give this some likes. So, um, so you got to understand that then you have another personality, right, which is more conscientious. This is the personality that's just more like they like to see everybody get along. That's more harmony. Um, this type of personality is more um, so more introverted and more. Um, and more support driven, right? So this is the type of person where it's like, I'm not trying to be the, the life of the party. I like to sit back in a party. I like to connect with maybe one or two people. I'm okay with that. I feel good with it. I'm in my comfort zone doing that, right? And, um, you know, and I really just kind of, I really, I, I like the I like the team aspect of it. I like all of us being together. I like the support. I like, I like everybody moving together as a unit, right? It's kind of more of the harmony kind of, you know, just, you know, easy, easy going personality. You know what I'm saying? So with them, you wouldn't be, if you're trying to motivate that type of person, you wouldn't be a hard charger. Like, yo, you got to get up off here. You wouldn't do that. With that type of person, they really support driven. So I would say, hey, listen, you have my personal number. If you ever need to reach out to me for anything, you know, feel free to reach out. You know, I, 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 I'm here for you. I have your, you have my support. Um, I also assign somebody else who can also be able to help you with this as well. If you need anything, any support, like we're here for you. You know what I mean? We're going to make sure that we take care of you. You know, you don't have to worry about a thing. If you if if you have that type of personality and you really let them know that they can't do wrong and that everything is a learning and a building process. And even if they do make a mistake, you're going to be right there with them, supporting them, loving them and cheering them on. They're going to love you. 
They're going to love you. That personality type is going to love you for that. Right? So it's the same. So that's why being a great coach, it's important to know these things because you can have the same information and you can give everybody the same information, all your clients. But if you give all your clients the same information in the same way, you're not going to motivate them. You know what I'm saying? You may not motivate them. You got some folks who, like, if they, so for example, especially like some of my um, process oriented people, sometimes they'll overthink, right? So you can give them something, but they'll overthink it. So sometimes you got to put them on a call and you got to do the work with them on a call, right? So there's certain ways you want to do it, right? And that's going to be the next thing that, that we talk about. Go ahead and put I'm loving this in the chat. If like if you if you really get some breakthroughs in terms of how to be a professional coach, let me know that this is helpful. Let me know that this is really let me let me like show some love below. Let me know that this is really taking your game to the next level. All right, and I'm excited. And by the way, before we jump on to the third one, I know uh, we got a lot of us here who are learning. You probably been watching the videos, you've been following along. If you're in a place right now where you really feel like this is what I need and this is like if this is if this conversation is exciting you right now, go ahead and put I'm excited. <laughs> Drop I'm excited in the chat if this is exciting you. And if you want to go to the next level and you want to coach with me potentially, and, but you have some additional questions that you, you need answered, I'm going to put you on a call with my team. Now, what that really looks like is what I've learned throughout this industry is. You, it really comes down to you having a blueprint and you being that best version of yourself. When I did those two things, I went from eating syrup sandwiches, south side of the Bronx, living in the hood, rolling with gang bangers, almost dying, getting shot, almost getting locked up, which later after college, I actually got locked up for 30 days. So I'll tell you that story later, right? So end up doing that to making over 300k in the last 18 months how does that happen impacting and reaching over 2 million people with all of my content across all social media platforms in the last two years how does that happen we do live events throughout the year we get people flying internationally to our events big coaching events people love it we bring in you know we, we brought in a few celebrities last year this year is going to be crazy right stay tuned for that how does all of this happen we do online courses trainings all the time how does all of this happen how was all of this working is because the reason it's happened is because i decided that i wanted to get some help and i wanted to take this serious and when i decided to take it serious is when everything went to the next level so if you if you ready to take this serious i want you to go ahead and put coach me in a chat go ahead and drop coach me below for everybody who drops coach me i'm gonna go ahead and reach out to you or my team will reach out and we'll and we'll answer any questions that you have and see how we can help if you do qualify to potentially work together then we can look at what that looks like but this call is not even about that this is really just connecting with you and really kind of seeing what additional questions you have based on you know the training what you've been learning from me okay so go ahead and put coach me in the chat and then um we'll we'll go ahead and have a conversation with you and we'll reach out answer your questions all right with that being said what's the third thing we need to know okay third thing number three right the third thing we need to know to be a great coach the third thing you need to do and know is you got to have whatever your um i'm going i'm gonna put this as um i'm gonna put this as support because support is gonna go a long way i'm gonna go ahead and put this as support any great coach know any professional coach knows that you're only going to be able to do so much by yourself and with your own resources. You're only going to be able to do so much by yourself and with your own resources. Right? I know that we can get on a coaching call. We can get on a call and I can train you. And you'll get some incremental progress. But what's really going to help you go to the next level is all of the other items and support and deliverables that I'm giving you as part of the package, as part of the program, as part of the coaching. So let me give you an example of what that really looks like. So if I'm doing, if I'm providing you support, let's say I'm coaching with you. I know that I'm on a call with you, 
But what else can I do to really help you make progress? What can I do to help you get results faster and make the process easier for you? What else could I do? Right? Put some things in the chat. What else are some things I can do? I can offer you worksheets. Why? Worksheets are great because as a professional coach, if I'm training and I'm teaching you, you're not going to get all of your breakthroughs on the call. And that's really key. You're not going to get all of your break. Your clients will not have all of these epiphanies on a call. What's going to happen is once they get off a call with you, then they're going to go through your worksheets. And they're going to be learning. And they're going to be writing. And they're going to be answering questions. And they're going to be doing these exercises that you want them to do. Regardless of what your niche is, you're going to be giving them exercise. They're going to be looking at it and they're going to go implement it. Now, that's that's for them. That's going to be the breakthrough that they needed for them. That's what they needed, because for it, it took them to get off the call and really collect all of their thoughts to pay attention and say, oh, my God, this is this is exactly what I needed. That's the type of support that they needed. You have other types of support where you have some people that are busy. And but they still need the coaching. They still want to go to the next level. Well, how else could you provide them the support to go to the next level if they're busy? What if you offer them a master class? What if you offer them some type of online course? Maybe you maybe you shot a short online course or a mini master class that now you can say, you know what? Based on these principles, I need you to know based on these topics that I need you to know. I created a video. I created a private, unlisted YouTube video series that only is for my clients, and I'm going to send you the link to these 10 videos. So now what you're doing is not only are you giving them the ability to, you're talking to them, which may, they may or may not be busy. They may have to call, cut some calls short. They might be trying to do a coaching call while they're taking care of their kids so they can't focus. But however, if you also gave them some training videos like a masterclass or a course that they can that they can watch or listen to in their own time they might be able to retain and pick up more of the information that's what i'm saying professional coaches know what le what resources can i leverage and lean on to help my clients make more progress right put put major key below major key cuz this is huge what could you do to make to really make that happen, right? What other resources could I provide, Coach T? Well, what about meeting up in person? Do you think that will motivate them? Do you think that'll also help them get make faster progress? See, we do we do trainings multiple times throughout the year. The big one that we have is what we call PCS certification. I mean PCS um, PCS boot camp. So this PCS boot camp, we get folks who fly in international to come, fly across the country. I'm in New York. We usually host them in New York. But we got folks who fly from Cali, from Canada, people come out from all over, right, to be at this event because you're, there's nothing like being in an electrifying room with a bunch of other movers and shakers and coaches that's going to be the next generation of our top influencers. There's nothing like it. There's, there's, a no, there's a whole nother generation of ETs coming out. There's a whole nother generation of Stormy Wellingtons coming out. There's a whole nother generation of Les Browns coming out. There's a whole nother generation of Tony Robbins that's going to be out coaching, teaching, training, speaking on stages, rocking it. Rocking it. And the only way you're going to be able to meet them is coming out to these live events. Because online is limited. Right. You don't really you can't really meet or learn a lot about somebody like that unless you decide to reach out to them and connect with them. How many people are doing that? You got a lot of people in this group that don't do that. Right. So when you but when you're in person and you're sitting next to somebody or you're talking to somebody in the hallway, you get a chance to learn a lot more about them in a shorter period of time. That's the magic of live events. But imagine if I didn't include that as another level of support. That's my point. What if I only limited it to online and I didn't and I didn't say, oh, look, by the way, we got an upcoming event that's coming up in one month, three months, five months next year. I need you to attend. I need you to attend because once you get in a room and you feel the energy and you get a chance to shake my hand and you get a chance to meet the other people in a room, your mind is going to open up with possibilities and you're really going to know that this is real. This is no longer a game. I realized like, wow, this is actually possible for me. And you're going to realize that 
because you got out of your comfort zone and you got in the room. That's another level of support. So when it comes to support and being a coach, just realize that there's no limitation. I was on a call earlier with somebody earlier today who uh, one of my clients and she helps people with trauma overcome like the trauma that they've been through. Right. So with the trauma that they've been through, we've talked through different ways to actually provide support to those people. And although she's, you know, she's not doing it in the capacity of a therapist, she's doing it in the capacity as a coach. But I said, why not also include ther a therapy session if you can? Like, if you know therapists, why not connect with the therapist and say, look, I have, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing in some clients. Um, my goal is to help them make more positive, healthy decisions moving forward. But I'm also thinking about, you know, them really untangling some of the trauma that they've been through when they were young or as a child. So how about this? Um, is it OK if we do a business deal together to where I refer you people and let them get a free session with you? If they want to continue to work with you, then that's fine. But I want to provide them with at least one therapy session complimentary for joining my program is that something that you're open to if that was your scenario they will be open to it i, I know if, I, if i'm going to be a therapist and somebody's going to basically send me free leads all i got to do is just really just help them for a free session i will do that all day long right so why can't you do that as another form of support does, does that make sense so this is that's why i said this is really key so it's unlimited the possibilities of what you can do with people. It's all about how creative you are in terms of being the professional coach and adding what you think you should add to really help them go to that next level. Everybody put next level in the chat. Like this is this is going to be super, super key. I see Frank um, is asking, is there going to be a replay? Um, so what we're going to do is, yeah, we'll leave this up. We usually leave these up that we do directly to the group so you can always come back and you can watch them. Um, good. I see James says I had a traumatic brain injury. Yeah, I put myself in the right direction. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Like these are the things that I promise you that will really take you to the next level. So go ahead and give this some hearts. And I'm, I'm glad that you're taking a lot away from it. All right. So that is what, um, that these are the things that I'm, we're going to keep it simple. I promise you, if all you did was this, if all you did was get clear on the print, the top, the principles that, people need to know and you took the time you sat down with a pen and paper you sat down in front of a whiteboard and you just wrote out all of the things that people need based on your experience and what you can help them with that's a huge win if on top of that you really understood the four different personality types Maybe you take a disc assessment yourself. Maybe you watch some YouTube videos. Maybe once you learn about more about personality types and how to and how to um, how to work with these personality types, you're going to be a better coach because you're not going to treat everybody like a one size fits all situation, right? And then in terms of support, once you realize that oh, coaching is more than just getting on calls with somebody. It's bigger than just calls. I need to provide, everybody write this word in the chat. I need to provide an ecosystem. I need to provide an ecosystem for my client. Everybody write ecosystem. When you provide an ecosystem for your client, now you're helping them in many different ways, in many different aspects, on many different points. I got somebody who wants to watch videos, you can watch videos. I got somebody who's busy, but they can listen to me while they're working out, they can listen while they're working out. They need help from this particular type of expert, I got you on that type of expert. They need to see something written and they need to see it listed out, I got you when it's listed out. They need the support from a coach or somebody else to really hold them accountable, I got you on that. You need group, I got you in group. You feel what I'm saying? You got to have a lot of different ways that you're able to support people because people learn and they make progress differently. Cool. Hopefully that hopefully that this was helpful. And by the way, like if you really feeling this and you're like, yo, this is what I've been looking for and this is what I needed. Go ahead and put coach me in the chat and we can definitely talk more about it. And I could particularly and me and my team will learn more about specifically what you need. All right. And again, it, this ain't a sales call. This is literally just seeing how we can help. All right. And potentially, if you are qualified, we could look at working together. But that's not even 
what this initial call is about. All right, with that being said, uh, let's open up the floor for some questions. Um, what do we have? Go ahead and um, and I'll look back through the chat. I'm over here with it. So I'm going to look back through the chat. And um, if you have any questions, this is the time now to get your questions answered. Go ahead and put it in the chat. What questions do you have specifically? All right. All right. So let's see. So I'm going to go back through. Um, and let's see what we got. I'm going to scroll up. All right, yeah, you help us love it. I'm excited. Definitely, <laughs> Tangina says I'm definitely taking notes. I love it. I love it. Um, Jaquan, I got you. Yup, Chrissy, I got you. All right, good. Love it. Love it. Um, Rhea, write your questions. Whatever questions I got, go ahead and write your questions below. Um, here's some of the things that you could ask for, for your questions. So some of the things that you're gonna ask is, um, you know, um. You know, how do I, you know, it could be anything in terms of like how often should I coach people. Professional coaches also know how to run a coaching calls. So, you know, you might say, well, what does a coaching call look like? You might say, what am I teaching or training them on a call? You might say, how do I give a call to action? How do I get them to make progress? Um, I'm giving, I'm, so I'm giving you some ideas on how to be a great coach, how to be a professional coach, right? But it could be anything, any questions that you have on any of these. How do I come up with my topics? You know, how do I work with somebody with this personality type, which we talked about already. But if you have any additional questions on that, feel free. Right. What are some other ways that I can support and or help people? Right. So I'm giving you guys some ideas on some different things that you can talk about. But keep it. If you have any questions, keep keep it to what um, keep it to specifically the coaching process, because we could talk about the business. And that's what we'll have sessions where we're talking about the business side of coaching. This is actually the coaching side of coaching. Like that's what I'm showing you. Like not the business of coaching. This is just like the skill of coaching. So you can kind of look at this as a skill, right? Look at it as a skill. So feel free to drop any questions you have. Um, some other things that come to mind, just in terms of building this, building this, um, building a coaching business, is really understanding how you communicate also makes a big difference too. So. When, how you communicate sometimes is, you know, there's different ways. This, I'm, and I'll just throw some out there for you. So you have tone inflection, voice inflections. You know, sometimes there's, there's times to raise your voice, there's times to lower your voice. So you can really look at your tonality. How you say things makes a big difference. If you've ever been married or you are married, you understand this very deeply, <laughs> right? You know what you say to your spouse and how you say it sometimes could have rubbed them the wrong way or maybe not. So anybody who's been married, you understand now on the long-term relationships, you realize that, right? So how you say it, your tonality makes a big difference, right? Um, you know, just in terms of, um, for me, what also makes me feel and, and feel like a great coach is really feeling like I am, you know, really feel like I'm, I'm helping people really understand and have breakthroughs, right? As you coach.